Greetings and welcome. This is Dr. B. D. Y. Sunil, Associate Professor, Mechanical Engineering Department, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. In this session, we will be solving a couple of problems on resolution of forces and identifying the resultant in a force system. Let us solve a problem on resolution of forces. The problem given is the guy wire of an electric pole shown in figure makes an angle of 30 degrees to the pole and is subjected to 20 kN force. Find the vertical and horizontal components of the force. In the engineering mechanics problems, even though the problems represent the field problems, that is practical problems, we have to look into the problem as there is a system in which some forces are acting and there are some effects that the bodies are undergoing in the system. Then we have to solve the problem for the unknown values. Here in this problem, we have to see the, that the force of 20 kN is acting at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal and we need to resolve this force into components. First, let us represent the horizontal and vertical components of P is equal to 20 kN force. The direction of the component forces should be such that they are, they are to be reached to the final arrow of the main force. That is, the vertical component will be moving towards the arrow of the main force, but in vertical direction up to the main force arrow. And the horizontal component also will be moving towards the arrow of the main force up to the main force arrow from the triangle law of forces and considering the trigonometric ratios the vertical component pv of force p is given by pv is equal to p cos 30 degrees that is equal to 20 cos 30 degrees that is equal to 17.321 kilonewton which is acting in downward direction. Similarly, the horizontal component pH is given by pH is equal to P sin 30 degrees is equal to 20 sin 30 degrees that is equal to 10 kN acting towards left side. Thus, the component forces can be calculated. Let us do a problem for identifying the resultant by using composition of forces by method of resolution procedure. The problem given is Determine the resultant of three forces acting on a hook as shown in figure. In the problem, there are three forces acting on the hook. So, first let us resolve these forces into component forces. Because all these three forces which are being acting like 70 Newton, 80 Newton and 50 Newton are the inclined forces to the horizontal. In the figure, you can observe that the 80 Newton force is acting at an inclination of 25 degrees to the horizontal and 70 Newton force is acting at an inclination of 50 degrees that is 25 degrees plus 25 degrees which is given in the figure to the horizontal and 50 Newton force is acting at an inclination of 45 degrees to the horizontal. So as these forces are inclined forces, now we need to resolve these forces into mutually perpendicular component forces because we will be only considering the forces which are horizontal and vertical. So for doing this, 70 Newton force, the x component will be 70 cos 50 degrees that is equal to 45. When you solve this 70 cos 50, you will obtain the value as 40. And y component will be 70 sin 50 that would be 53.62. All these are the force components x component and y component of the 70 newton force. For 80 newton force, the x component will be 80 cos 25 that is equal to 72.5 and y component will be 80 sin 25 which is 33.81. Also, for force 50 newton, the x component will be 50 cos 45 which gives the answer as 35.36 and y component will be minus 50 sin 45 degrees. Why we have placed this negative symbol here? Because as this 50 Newton force is acting downwards, when you resolve this force into components, then 
horizontal component will be towards positive x axis direction whereas the vertical component will be acting in vertically downward direction which is negative y axis direction so we will be taking it as negative force component so the value y component value would be minus 50 sin 45 degrees that is equal to minus 35.36 as the vertical component of the 50 newton force is towards the negative y direction. The magnitude is sine negative e. Therefore, the sum of horizontal component forces that is sigma x is equal to 152.86 and vertical component forces sigma y is equal to 52.07. So, these two are the components of the resultant, components of the resultant, horizontal component of the resultant and vertical component of the resultant. Now, the resultant R can be obtained with the equation under root sigma x square plus sigma y square. So, when you substitute the values, 152.86 in the place of sigma x and 52.07 in the place of sigma y, you will get the value as 161.48 newton. This 161.48 Newton is the magnitude of the resultant. Then coming to angle that is alpha is equal to tan inverse sigma y by sigma x. When you substitute the values tan inverse 52.07 by 152.81. When you solve this you will get the inclination as 18.81 degrees. Okay. If you observe carefully the x component and y component of the resultant, you have obtained the values as positive. This symbolizes that the x component is towards positive x axis direction and y component is towards positive y axis direction. Okay, So, the resultant R will be acting towards upper side of the graph or upper side of the horizontal. Hence, the inclination alpha can be placed like so, the magnitude of the resultant is 161.48 newtons acting at an angle of 18.81 degrees to the horizontal. So, in this way, we will be solving the problems related to the resultants. This concludes the session. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.